Welcome, Cancer. This is your August general love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, please keep in mind that energy is interchangeable, so that means it can go vice versa. And if this does not resonate with you, that's okay. Just throw it out, okay? On your side here, we have Ghostlands and Commitment, okay? And if you look closely here, so I'm drawn to the Cancer sign here. It's like just glaring at me. But the hand on the clock has passed, okay? And it's kind of telling me it's time. You know, now it's time to come out of the cold or somebody to come out of the cold. Finally make a decision with commitment here, okay? Because what I'm really getting here is it's the feeling of, you know how you can, you can learn from the past, okay? We're all works in progress. And we can sit there and we can imagine a beautiful future, and, you know, how wonderful it will be, but we have to live in the here and now, okay? And if it's time, it's time, all right? Um, there could have also been issues here <clears throat> in the past. Uh, somebody had left empty promises to someone, and they've taken themselves out of a connection or something like that, okay? Whatever fits your scenario, and the person you are dealing with has rescue and sacred pool. And it's funny when I look at this, like, I see the girl there. She's at, I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah. So it looks like she took a leap of faith here, right? And she jumped in this pool. And she's laying there. And, you know, it's like this person is seeking help from a higher power. Um, only they can help themselves at this moment. And that's why this they're kind of like on this floating island. You know, nobody can reach them. They can only help themselves. Um, and to me, it's like, you know, the world is a reflection of their own thoughts and beliefs. And right now, it's hitting them and they're tapping into their spiritual side and seeking help. It's kind of like, you know, when you look in the mirror and all of a sudden you have a revelation, you don't like what you see. That's that's what I'm getting from the feeling of where this person is at for the current moment. Okay, for your romance angel cards. So these popped out at the same time. So you have codependency, retreat, and true love. Okay. So there's some things that this person or somebody needs to release in this relationship. And for the time being, they've retreated and... Or you have, and that's why Ghostlands is here too. Because both sides, there's like, they're by themselves. There's no communication, I feel. It's very cold. But this person, this person here is heartbroken um, and left out. But this person is hit rock bottom and they need to fix and work on themselves. So retreat is here, I feel... Um, it's time for them to disconnect from the world and figure out where they're going with their life because there's a reason why the true love came out and I I truly believe that it came out with this intense feeling because I have this heaviness on my heart and my stomach's kind of nauseous as soon as I started you know meditating on your energy and somebody here, either you or the person you're dealing with, is feeling just sick to their stomach. Cannot believe what they've done. Can't believe that they've let, you know, addictions or whatever they're into take over their life. Because they do see true love here. They do see, you know, what is, uh, is before them. And they need to fix it. And I feel like fast here with the clock. They need to fix it fast because... Um, <clears throat> it's almost like time's up kind of feel because this person's like very anxious and nervous or you guys are like just, I'm just nauseous, but it's like that nauseous feeling you get when you feel like, oh shoot, am I going to be able to do this or not? Or did I screw up on that? Can I fix it? You know, it's like one of those very important moments in your life where you feel like, oh my gosh, I hope I didn't screw this up. 
It's like that kind of feeling. All right, so let's see overall energy. Ace of Swords. So yeah, you know, the overall energy is clarity here. We, you guys and the person that you are dealing with, because I really feel this is mutual, you guys are both realizing what the truth of the situation is. You know, now it's looking at it, not from an emotional perspective, but logic. So now it's like, the truth has been set free. The truth has been revealed. So either you or your partner has had a revelation on what addictions this person may have been hiding or what kind of things they may have been doing behind your back. But there is truth um, that has been really set free. So let's see what's going on. All right, for you guys right now, you know, you have the Ten of Wands, Strength card, and Six of Pentacles. So, you guys have been through a lot with this situation. And I'm really feeling like all you really want right now is you do care about this person. You do love this person. I do feel that a lot. But it's more of like you'd rather just keep that and keep going on. But let's just move on with my life. And let's, let's get some balance and structure to my life because this has consumed me. Because I'm feeling this very consuming energy. Turn up the ten of wands. Yeah. You guys have been burdened by this connection. Because you know what this connection is to you. You feel like this is your person. True love, right? But... You feel like there's really, you haven't connected with anyone else like this before. And so you guys are kind of hanging on and it's, it's really been weighing on you. It's been tough for you to function, um, in your daily. I, I just heard, um, they're always on my mind. Okay. But with the strength card and the six of pentacles, you know, you guys are getting back on track. Okay. Okay. It is taking a little bit, it is going slow, but still, you still have that feeling, that connection, that thoughts of them, but you kind of put, stuck a pin in it, put in, put in your head and are moving on to <clears throat> balance yourself out, get your life straightened out and not focus too much on them because they've consumed a big part of your life. So where this person is at, what they're doing right now in regards to you. So we have nine of wands, five of cups, two of wands. Okay. This person right now is feeling very empty. I am feeling like a massive emptiness, um, knowing they're kind of at a crossroads here, but they know they're they're having to make that jump, but they're not necessarily doing it. They're kind of just holding back still a little bit because <clears throat> they're drowning themselves in their own emotions. They realize that they have to get them, themselves emotionally correct and emotionally um, aligned with their body and their spirit. So mind, body, spirit, right? But they have to get aligned within themselves and know who they are and love themselves enough, <clears throat> excuse me, to release the codependency, anything that is hindering this connection here. But it's like they, they're going to, they're going to do that, but they're still like wallowing and kind of releasing it and letting it go. There's just some severe attachment to this. Whatever this codependency is, they're so attached and it's become an obstacle for them <clears throat> that they need, they realize that they need to overcome at this moment. I mean, what action they're taking. Um, sorry, excuse me. Just trying to talk to spirit for a second here. Um, so they realize that they have to get themselves right because they 
in order to love you, they have to love themselves. This is like what I'm feeling. They are devastated. I just heard. I'm devastated. How am I going to do this? Can I do this? Yes, I can. Okay, I see really a conversation between this person and spirit. And this person hasn't even believed believed in a long time has been a believer so their spirituality has been tainted in the past and this is what spirit's telling me um you know they used to have a very strong faith but it's been tainted and they've kind of lost it along the way and in the process uh because of worldly knowledge i just heard worldly knowledge this person might have um studied theology or went to school for American literature, something like that. Uh, it doesn't have to be. That's for a select few, okay? But if that resonates with you, take it. Because <clears throat> for some people here, this person has really uh, had an almost disbelief in in the universe, in God, in, in spirit. It's really rather sad. It's the... It's been broken, and it kind of threw their whole world apart. It made everything that they believed before had been cut down, and now, wow. So, wow. Really. So, this person's whole life was based on the ideal of the beliefs that, that were given to them um, growing up, Okay. They believed in God. They believed in it wholeheartedly. But something along the way, some kind of schooling, some kind of uh, event that they attended, something along the way triggered that and made their whole world just break. This person didn't believe in um, God anymore. They kind of threw it all out. But there still was still that back yearning of, I know like, I know that has to they, God has to exist. I know there's a higher power. I know it. But it, it just blew them away. So they started living their life. It, it totally destroyed them. I just heard right now that they didn't care. They did whatever they want. Some were addicted to alcohol. I just heard alcohol. I hear drugs. So I hear codependency on love addicted to love okay so every person's situation is going to be different all right but whatever this person's addicted to could even be the most minor thing but it is affecting their daily life it is controlling the the distance between um this connection but it's also played into the fact with rescue sacred pool here it's played into the fact that it's their spirituality has been tainted and now they're coming back it's like an epiphany wow so well, let's get back on track here i hope you guys understand that a little bit it's, i was getting i'm getting so many messages but i'm seeing it very clearly i'm just trying to um speak it out it's like i can hear it but i'm trying to speak it correctly to you and I hope that kind of made sense where I was going if you're confused you know let it go I'm sorry for that but it was just a lot because this person's spirituality meant the world to them I see them even dedicate the in the past they dedicated certain things like certain donations or volunteering or things like that like they it was their everything but it got knocked down something switched some information was brought to their attention but it was worldly knowledge so they weren't really listening to their intuition right so in the month of august i'll stop babbling i'm sorry um the action that this person will take towards you we have ace of pentacles justice so yeah this person's gonna try to get on the right track and make things right Okay, offer something grounded, something tangible, something that you feel safe and secure with. 
and you know be the nurturing you know this person really wants to commit to you they see marriage in the cards possibly mar or making you their wife to become the mother of their kids you know or they see you as that some that some uh, for some people sorry i'm getting tongue tied for some people you're already married to this person or were in the past that's for um certain people and six of swords chariots so they're moving slowly now you know it's going to take some time but in the month of august they will slowly progress to getting on that chariot doing the right thing making the right choices for their life you know they're seeing um with rescue and sacred pool here that they have the tools that they need that you know god's been right next to them the whole time that even though they felt abandoned like it wasn't their reality god never abandoned them they he was god was always there spirit was always there every second of the way it's just that this person tied god's hands not allowing you know god to come in because you know lack of faith lack of belief i mean we we have free will for a per a reason okay so not the chariot just one last cards yeah so you might be dealing with an Aquarius here. Um, I just, I also, I see you guys, Cancer. I do have Capricorn, Leo, Leo Sun. I just heard Leo Sun. So you guys might want to check out the Leo reading and Aquarius too. If you're dealing with an Aquarius or you have a Moon or Venus in leo you guys might want to check it out okay and tell me about the queen of swords so you're going to be walking toward yeah being victorious walking away this person's going to be walking away from what no longer serves them they will be victorious in this so the, the question comes down to this <coughs> what do you guys want because from your side i'm really seeing that the universe is asking you make get clear with what you want get clear with what will make you happy you can have what you want you can have the desires of your heart but be clear with what you want clear and concise because i mean like you know don't say oh i want i do want this person but uh no at this time or not at the right time or i want to make sure that they're like this no, just be clear and concise. If you don't want this person, if they've hurt you so badly that there's no repairing it, and this is just a message for you to understand what's happened, then that's wonderful, okay? Then do what you need to do for yourself. But if you do want this person, the advice really is here, you know, get into your spiritual self, okay? Make it clear what you want with the universe, and manifest that stay on the positive energy because this person's going to need your positive vibes your higher um high energy um to be able to come out of this okay they're going to need the support of you even though it's energetically all right that's all i have for you guys um i will see you in september for the readings Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. And I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have given me. Thanks for sticking with me, even though it's been a little crazy. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Have a good one. Bye.